All right, hello everyone, and welcome to my new Fallout 4 mini series of The Age of Airships, where today we are going to be starting up this amazing new mod, which adds into the game a whole lot of airships. And I love this mod. Now, originally, I was actually just going to take a look at this thing on a normal mod spotlight video until I read through just how much this adds. And since we finished up the Metro miniseries, I figured, what the heck, let's take a look at this. It's probably only going to be a couple of videos, but I think this thing is Awesome. I've always had a very strange fascination with airships, and so adding these into the game just makes me happy. Now, the general gist of the mod is that it adds into the Commonwealth at a number of locations, as you could see back there in the Commonwealth, but also through all these new little uh, Pridwin icons all over the map, a load of airships here in the Commonwealth. In fact, eight airships into the Commonwealth for you to explore. Some of them can even be used as player homes. And we're going to go through all of those different, uh, you know, wonderful airships. But also added in is not just airships in the Commonwealth, but also in Nuka World, as well as in Far Harbor. I almost forgot the name of that place for a second there. And not just that, but also three unique airship-based missions. And so we are going to take a look at all of that. So it's probably going to be a couple of episodes. I'm thinking one episode per mission. So three right there. Then probably a couple of episodes it'll take us to look at all the airships, as there are a fair few of them. And what's even more cool, to me at least, is with those airships, some of them are actual real historical airships that existed in the world, and the mod maker has tried to recreate them here in Fallout 4. Now the rest of them are make-believe airships, but a couple of them are real, including a Hindenburg. So you can actually go and explore the Hindenburg in this mod. And I actually find that really freaking awesome to be able to walk around that thing. It's I, I'm very much looking forward to it. So let's actually go and get started on this. Now I'm here at Sanctuary because once you do load up the mod, as I did mention, there are all those new icons around the map for you to go to. And a lot of them, as you can tell from these two the Agamemnon transport ones, actually will just give you a tiny little miniature vertebrae that you'll click on to go to the Agamemnon. And the Agamemnon is sort of your primary hub. It is a make-believe fantasy airship. There, here's our little vertebrae thing. And uh, it's a make-believe fantasy airship that's really freaking awesome, but it's used as a hub, a portal of sorts, to go to the different missions that this adds in as well as all of the freaking airships. So let's just go and click on our weird little vertebrate here to board the Agamemnon, and we will arrive in sort of the uh, central chamber of the airship, which is very, very cool. Uh, I like this thing. Now again, this one is a fictional one, and it's also the largest of the airships that you'll encounter here in this mod, but it will uh, take you to all the places, and it's just, in and of itself, pretty cool. Now, this is the only one of the airships I've gone into personally so far, because I did want to test things. And so, yeah, here we are in the, um, the Agamemnon, looking down upon the world. Oh, this is wonderful. I really, really like this thing. And this is sort of the central hub of this entire mod. You'll notice we have a number of uh, different airship uh, statues, I guess you could say here. All of which, if we click on, will take us 
to those different airships to check out. We also have these uh, little vertebrate things we can also click, which will take us to those various little transport icons around the world. So uh, this one would take us back to the one we clicked at Sanctuary Hills. Then we have the Slog, we have Somerville Place, uh, Spectacle Isle, Sunshine Tidings, and Ten Pines over here. Now beyond that, we also yes. have things like this one, which starts up the missions. Oh, yay. And uh, we'll actually start doing the missions next episode. For this first episode, I really want to check out this place, because I have so far only looked at this room. And it is an amazing room, and I love it. And I love being in an airship high in the sky above the Commonwealth. It's just beautiful. Now, we can't actually talk yeah. to these uh, people. Hey. They are yeah. just random NPCs in here. But, uh, you know, Excuse it gives me. the place a little huh? bit of, uh, you know, a nice environment to actually see people wandering around the airship. So let's start doing a little exploring. I'm intrigued to see what all we have. So this is, goes to the bridge. Okay, Agamemnon Bridge. Now, unfortunately, sadly, we cannot pilot these things. They are just static objects in the world. But still... It's pretty freaking cool. Hey, there's downtown. Nice. Ah, it is gorgeous. We got the captain's nest in here yeah. with more uh, NPCs that, yes, we cannot yes, hey sadly there. talk to. Uh. But, oh well, look at the gorgeous view from our beautiful new airship. Ah, it makes me happy. And thankfully, we're the only airship in this part of the world, considering yes. in this particular game, I destroyed the Pridwin over there, which is, you know, yes. wonderful. Alright, so that's all for the bridge. Not too much here, since we can't actually pilot the ship. So let us uh, head back this way, and there's more things back here, I believe. Cool, let's go explore. We got some awesome seats. Cool, cool. Oh boy, lots of rooms. What are, what are these? Oh, it's a uh, little uh, guest quarters. Unusable beds, purely for prop purposes. Ooh, we do have dressers, though, we can look in. Oh, I'm going to have to loot all of these. Oh, yeah, I'm going to loot all these off camera. <laughs> and I have a feeling that's what all of these rooms are. Yep, bedroom. 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 Okay, let's just kind of run down the hallway, opening all these, and see if that is it for all of Broken. them. Ooh, that one's inaccessible. All right, yep, another bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. All right, I'm kind of going to assume it's the same on the other side. Cool, cool. Lovely view, though. Ha! Ah, I do love airships. Why? Why did they have to become no longer a thing? <laughs> All right, we got another inaccessible door. Utility area. Ooh. Oh. I, uh... <laughs> I, I don't think that's finished. And actually, I should mention not everything for this mod is finished at the moment. Let's just close that because that's clearly broken. Uh, and the reason why not everything is finished is because at the moment, this mod is actually compatible with the PS4. And the mod maker wanted to do that because unfortunately, because of the limitations on the PS4, uh, that community really has gotten the short end of the stick mod-wise. And so he wanted to release this first release here so that the PS4 people could play it and enjoy it. And future versions with more custom content, because this is all actually using in-game assets that exist in the world. And so future updates to the game, though, are going to be using custom assets, and the PS4 won't be able to get those. But right now, no matter if you're on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, you should be able to play around with this. Now, I, I don't actually know if it has released on the PS4 yet. I downloaded this off of the Nexus, but that is the uh, mod maker's thinking. All right, so we're on the second floor here. Now, we got another lovely airship we can teleport to. Let's kind of just uh, go around, see if there's any other teleport things up here. And no, it just looks like that one for that R100. All right, well, let's go back this way. Check out what else is in here. Ooh, fancy rooms. Ooh, nice. Ooh, blood leaf harvest. Cool. Uh, cupboards, foot lockers with more things to steal. Beautiful. 
Ah, so these are the upper class private bedrooms. Beautiful, lots of nice stuff in here. Much better view than downstairs. Very, very cool. Oh God, more dressers. Upside down dressers. Oh, that's actually a really unique use of the dressels. Uh, dr dress dressels? No, dressers. There, I can talk. That's actually uh, an interesting way how to put them up there. I like that. So I'm assuming, again, yep, all just uh, these fancy rooms. I got stuck in the door there briefly. Okay, well. So yeah, fancy room. Fancy room. Fancy room. Cool. I'm assuming other side. Yep, fancy room. Cool. So let's uh, see what we have. Oh, hello. Ah, just a crystal decanter. Hey, we got bathroom. We have the women's, which is clearly more of a pool than a bathroom, but hey, jump in. Ha. Ah. Now this, again, this was a, this is a fantasy airship that never really existed. Could you imagine, though, something like this floating in the sky and swimming? Oh, God, that would freak me out. That would really freak me out. <laughs> this is beautiful, though. I can't believe that this was all done with in-game assets, because, again, that's really the only way it can could be compatible for the PS4. This is awesome. Very well done. And yeah, I got the same thing on the other side for the men's. We have a random statue. Random things. Rear utility area, which I cannot access, unlike the downstairs one, which was clearly broken. Cool, cool. Dog meat probably wasn't the greatest companion to grab for in here with the tight corridors. All right. Well, let's uh, go over this way then. Check out what we got. Have another door to... Ooh. Oh, 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 cool. It's like a, a beautiful little cafe area. Oh, nice. That's cool. Can we can we loot the things? Eh, kind of. Ooh, I'm actually, I'm actually getting some lag in here. There is a lot of foliage, which is really dropping down my frame rate. Uh, oh, hello. We got a bar. Hello, barkeep. Can we talk? Can I buy things from you? Excuse me. Yes? And nope. You are just a normal NPC that I can't do anything with. Oh. Can I get back here? Nope. Well, I can loot the cash register. Perfect. It is my airship after all. Awesome. All right. Well, can't really get across these guys unless I go through the yes. uh, the flowers. Beautiful little place, though. Nice. This would be an awesome cafe. All right. So what do we have up here? There we go. Oh, cool. Like a little phone booth thing. Can I go in? No, I can't go in, can I? Ah, <sighs> fine. So cool. Hey, a bobblehead stand. Nice. You can always pop that in there. Okay, what do we yes. got in here? Ooh, fancy. You got a whole little massage area. Oh, that's just... That's wonderful. What was that that I could loot there momentarily? Oh, oh, what? Can't get again. There we go. Strong sludge cocktail. Well, clearly I'm taking that. <laughs> All right, what do we got on the other side here? Okay, so a little infirmary. Cool, cool. Locker, refrigerator. Ooh, stashed up equipment. Nice. Oh, dog meat, you're in my way! Alright, so this is just like a little, uh, I guess the, the beds for the infirmary. Very cool, very cool. And I guess just some sort of, uh, workspace for the businessmen on the flight. That was some functioning magazine racks. Very nice. I'm getting some frame drops again in here. Probably due to the fact that out that window is the entirety of the game world. Okay, and what further down can we go? Lady, you're in my way. There we go. Just got to jump around. Cool. Ooh, we got another thing. The USS Akron. Oh, this is a... Uh, this is... Uh, I actually know about this. This is a... Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Memory. Memory, memory, memory. Uh, a real world airship. It was a military one. If I'm hold on, I'm gonna look at my other monitor because, of course, it has the list of all of them. Ah, yes, there it is. It was uh, a flying aircraft carrier that actually did exist in the real world. It could drop planes out of the darn thing, and then planes could go back into it. I believe, if my memory is correct, it crashed in a, a storm, which was kind of the end of aerial aircraft carriers. Ah, sad, so sad. And what's this door? Holy crap! Whoa. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, so we got the formal dining room in here, complete with a whole band area. Yes. Very cool. Oh, wow. Look at the view up here. That is just 
gorgeous. So this, of course, is where the Agamemnon lives. And, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Wow. That <laughs> this is a cool mod. Like I said, so far in testing, all I had gone into so far was that central area, and that was impressive enough. Yeah, this definitely would not be a working airship in the real world. This is definitely a, uh, a fantasy one with this big of an area. <laughs> oh, that's cool, though. That is very cool. All right, let's head back. Did I miss any yeah. awesome things? I don't know. Yeah. Let's go and check. Okay, we went over there. Oh, yes, we didn't do this side. Ah, yes, we have the cafe area over there. What is this? Ah, smoking lounge. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, and I'm getting frame yeah. drops in here from all the smoke. <laughs> oh, that's great. We got a little pool table. We got some whiskey, some shot glasses. Ah, yes, this. This is the life right here. This is the life. Ah, I wish airships were a real thing again. <laughs> huh? All yes. right, but yeah, this is the Agamemnon, our uh, primary hub for this mod. Now, uh, let's go back to, oh, no, back downstairs. It's, you know what, we can just jump through here. Eh, eh, or can we? Yep. Nope, can't fit through. <sighs> the stairs were right behind me. <laughs> All right, so I just want to kind of look around at the other uh, of these again. And if I'm looking over at my other screen, yes, this one, the Heracles, and I think this one here, yeah. the Achilles. Yes, these are two other hub world uh, airships for you to go to. And, oh boy, um, if memory serves, yes, yes, there it is on my other screen. One of these actually takes you to Nuka World. The other one takes you to Far yeah. Harbor. Which is which? I'm not sure, but we'll explore that in the in future episodes. Now, well, oh, what the hell. Let's go actually take a look at them real quick. We're only in 16 minutes. Let's go to the Heracles first and see where that thing takes us. And these are not like the Agamemnon. They are different, smaller airships. Um, but I believe they are make-believe ones as well. So where are we? Oh, we're clearly in Far Harbor. There's the observatory. Yes. Beautiful. And wait, why can I open that window? Oh. Huh. Apparently we can open the window and jump out to some place called the Red Rose. Oh, the Red Rose is actually another one of the airships on the list. I, I just had to look over at my uh, other monitor real quick. Oh, okay, so that's how we get to the red what, the red rose. Interesting. Okay, and uh, the red rose is actually a player home, a full player home. Oh, and so is the R100. Okay, so the R100 is the, another one of the player home airships. We'll take more of an in-depth look at those later, but this is the Heracles. So we got another sort of central area, a bit more realistic of one in size. So let's uh, explore this one. All right, so we got uh, a little private room with two bunks. Same deal here. Ah, we have the uh, transport locations for the map here of Far Harbor. Go to the different uh, different areas there. Yep, just different rooms. Where does this door go to? Whoa, hello. Yes. Ah, so this is like the crew area. Cool. Nice view. What's back here? Ah, yeah, the crew bunks. Okay, okay, yeah. What else we got in here? Da -da -da -dee. Okay, cool, nice. All right, head back. Dog meat, you are in the. Oh god, you're in the way. You're really in the way. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna dismiss huh? him before the next episode. <laughs> All right, so again, we got a cool central area. Let's huh? go yes. take a look at what's through here. Ah, more rooms. Okay, so just more rooms. Ooh, oh, oh god, my frame rate just really, really dropped. Game may have frozen. Oh, oh, it's catching us back up. Maybe. Nope, it's frozen still. Okay, I am bringing us back here. I had to turn off my recording just momentarily as the game tremendously lagged, which may be a problem with this airship mod. I mean, again, we are way up in the sky looking at the entirety of the world and inside of an airship with hundreds of different assets. So that is a thing we may have to deal with. We have more teleport things to other airships. 
More of these private rooms. This one with a private shower. Ah, and we have just another crew area back here. Ooh, this one has doors. Ooh. All right, so probably like the captain's quarters there. Uh, yeah, and this just goes back like the other section. Cool, cool. Well, there's still a downstairs area to explore, which well, we haven't seen the we haven't seen the uh, the bridge yet. Interesting. Well, let's go this way. Oh, it's like a little passenger. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. It's it's a passenger area with the airplane seats. That's nice. So you know, this is coach. <laughs> Upstairs is uh, you know the uh, first class section. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, oh, cool. It goes keeps going. Dog meat. Oh yeah, we're really losing dog meat for future episodes. Oh, hey, it's the bridge. Hi, bridge. Hi, hi, crewman and captain. Cool. Awesome. Again, I wish we could fly this thing, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Dog meat. You're at, you're in the way. You're in the way. You're in the way. Okay, let's go. Ooh, can we open these? Oh, this just goes straight down to the island. All right, let's not touch those. <laughs> uh, oh hey, there's a door behind the stairs. Cool. Go check that out. Oh, it's the fancy dining area. Very cool. Huh? Oh, hey, we got a bar. You're in my way. You are in my way, sir. You are still in my way. I need to get around you. There we go. Nope, that's not working. Yep. Okay, okay, hold on. No clip. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So we got a cool little bar area in here. Very nice. What's back behind this door? Oh, so just like a rear observation area. Oh, that's cool. That's a good view. That's a very good view. Nice. <laughs> it's just upside down uh, windmills for the for the propellers. <laughs> All right. Oh well, yeah, this is absolutely freaking awesome. Let's just no clip back up here. Perfect and off. Boom. And yes, yeah, so the Achilles is supposed to be the same thing, so let's just go to that real quick. Now, uh, reading the other monitor, it is apparently the same exact ship. It just is with a different name, and it takes us to... Uh, that should be Nuka World down there. Hold on, maybe the other side we can tell more easily. Oh yeah, that's Nuka World. That's definitely Nuka World. <laughs> So yes, it's the same exact ship as you can see in here that we were at with uh, the Heracles. It's just in a different part of the world, which is pretty cool. And like I said, this is another hub area so that you you can you know teleport between ships and use the uh, the Vertibird drop system to go to all the different locations here at Nuka World. There you go. You can go to the bottling plant, Kitty Kingdom, etc. And uh, yeah, so that's the. Agamemnon, which we looked at first, the Achilles, and the Heracles, which are the three hub world airships for this mod. Now, next episode, we are actually going to be back in the Agamemnon, and we're going to do one of the missions. And I'm hoping that that should be a pretty substantial mission. There are three. Let's actually just head back to the Agamemnon real quick so I can kind of show you where they are. And then that will be it for today's video. So we have this one right here, the Tsaristat Outskirts, which is a Russian Revolution mission. We also have, I think over here, yes, the Empire Bay, where we actually get to steal an old World War One style cruiser, as in, you know, ocean cruiser. And I believe when we finish that, we can have that cruiser in the bay at the Commonwealth as a uh, another player home. And I think the final mission... Yeah. Uh, no, that goes to Nuka World. That goes to Far Harbor. Huh? Ah, here it is. The Omertha Airport, which is the third mission that exists in this thing right now. So we're going to do one of those in the next episode. And like I said, I'll probably do one mission in each episode just to split them up easily. And then after that, we'll explore the other airships and the airship player homes and, you know, what fun you can have with those. So that's going to be it for today, folks. This is an awesome new mod, and I can't wait to uh, do some more episodes on this. Again, I love airships, and the idea of having these in the Commonwealth now just makes me happy. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode when, hopefully... We'll be having some fun on those missions. But until then, thank you for watching, 
And as always, have a good one.